Hello, Max Landscaping. This is Joel from JND SEO. I'm going to show you three ways today that you can beat your competition online. So I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste mine, so I'll try to be as quick as possible. And at the end of this, if you like what you hear and you understand that I can help you build your business online, then we can have a phone call and talk a little more. If not, take these tips that I give you and you guys are welcome to use them yourself and help your online traffic. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about today is content. So we recommend putting, I'm on your page now, we recommend having about 1,500 words of content on your homepage. And the reason for that is by having that much content, you can put in more keywords to be found by on search engines. And the other thing you can do is, if I look at one of your pictures, you can actually save this with a keyword. So commercial landscape, that's a good keyword. I would just recommend putting it location specific. So put it in a town that you guys actually service right now. Because this would be with more of a national keyword. It could be anywhere in the US. All right, so the next thing we'll talk about is citation. So if I do just a kind of typical search, so landscaping Stoneham MA, right? This is an area that you guys service. Typically, you're going to see ads come up first. However, nobody is paying for ads in your area, it looks like. So the next thing you see is this here, Google Map. And the top three companies will show up for citations. So you guys do show up as number three, so that's awesome, good job there. And what that means is you have a good amount of citations. So citations are anywhere on the internet with your company name, company address, and company phone number. And these sites basically point back to you. And you can get these listed on sites like Yelp or Yellow Pages or even HomeAdvisor. But not all citations are created equal. It's better to have one that's related to your field. If you have one unrelated from another field, it would not be as strong. And the other thing I'd recommend for you guys is you currently don't have any reviews. And if people do see these top three companies, they're probably going to look at reviews next. So I just recommend reaching out to some of your past clients and have them fill out some reviews and get those submitted online. And the next thing we'll look at is our actual organic results. And we're looking for backlinks here. So the first thing is an actual company. And you do see Yelp on here as well. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take your website and I'm going to plug it into a program we use called Eris. And what this does is it helps me to analyze your website and see what's kind of going on. If you think of the internet as a popularity contest, and the more votes you have, the stronger your site is and the more popular you will be for visitors. So you right now have 26 referring domains, so 26 other sites that are referring back to you. And that's giving you 96 backlinks or links back to your page. And that you're currently being searched for 110 keywords. And that's bringing about 66 visitors to your site each month. So we can actually take a look at some of your keywords. So typically people will have their name. So Mac Landscaping, that's good. And there's about 100 people searching that per month. So that's a good thing. And you guys are number two. So ideally, you'd want to probably be number one for your own name. But it could be a directory that's kind of getting ahead of you there because of the traffic they're able to generate. Um, the next thing I would say is let's look at some towns. So Something like, uh, let's see. So if we said, okay, BMAC landscaping, this is more of a, a kind of national search. So this could be anywhere in the US. So you do want to have, ideally, the towns in there. So Burlington MA landscaping, that's going to give you 60 people per month. And you guys are currently ranked number two. So that is a really good thing. You want to ideally be in the top three because that puts you on the front page um so let's look for let's see i know stoneham's on here somewhere there it is landscaping stoneham ma so there's currently 30 people searching for that right now or this month i should say and you guys are number 14. so that's going to probably put you about the middle of the second page and most people who are searching that don't know your company's name they're going to probably look for a company on the first page. They're probably not going to even get to page two. And ideally, you want to be in the top three. So definitely, I would recommend, you know, we'd want to get you some more keywords and get those ranked higher. So just as a comparison, if I go to Cassidy, who was ranked really high, 
for this area. And I look at their page, they have 55 referring domains, giving them 956 backlinks. And they're being searched for 253 organic keywords. And that's bringing them 179 people to their page every month. And we can click just a few of their keywords here to compare. And I believe right after Cassidy, Landscaping Stoneham MA. So right there, we have 30 people and you can see they're ranked number one. Now 30 isn't a gigantic amount of volume, but the key is how many of those do you hold, right? So Landscapers Melrose MA, that's 60 people there and they're ranked number two. So they're in the top three again. Landscaping Woburn MA, 90 people are searching that and they're number four. So again, ideally want to be in the top three, Number four, not bad, you're still on the first page. All right, so that's all I'll talk about today for content, citations, and backlinks. Again, if you guys are interested in hearing more, definitely reach out, this is my number. And if not, then I hope you guys are able to use the tips that I gave you today and apply them yourself. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.